big slobbery dogs. I can attest to the slobbery. We have some towels here because it is all over the place. They're here along with Patty Spittler Hello. from Pet Pals TV. And we also have a longtime a bloodhound owner, Kelly McPherson, and her sister here, Becky Warburton. Come here. So you guys are bloodhound experts. Mm -hmm. um, we're talking about this breed specifically because best in show winner, right? Yep. Uh, <laughs> Westminster, we can take a look at that. The bloodhound, uh, whose name is Trumpet, is relatively new to the game, having only started to show in competitions the first of the year. That's amazing. Most dogs ever competed, 36, 3,500 canines, 211 different breeds, and a French Bulldog was the runner-up. But you know what happens when they win awards like this and people go, oh, what a beautiful dog. I want one. I want one. I okay. think they're so big and lovable, oh, these guys. Kelly, tell us about the Bloodhound. <laughs> Um, well, they, they are first and foremost a working breed. Um, they're working dogs. And if they don't have a job, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they can get into a lot. Um, Gerard has done quite a lot in his years. Uh, he's chewed through a lot of like wooden spindles on our deck and eaten a couple of remotes from the TV. Uh, his, his, dad's just, uh, his dad's croc. His dad's croc. Uh, I wasn't too mad about that. But. And you also <laughs> trains them for search and rescue. Your yeah, husband um, is with the police department. Yeah, when you think of a bloodhound, you think of a sm they're good at smelling. They're great. They're great at smelling. Um, we've My husband and I then um, volunteer search and rescue for uh, quite, a, quite a few years. We've had uh, quite a few, probably about eight bloodhounds over the years, I think. Wow. And um, Gerard, he didn't really like to do the people hunting because he didn't like working in the hot weather. Okay. Oh, well, who does? He I does feel not, Gerard. He's not a hot yeah. weather guy. <laughs> we have some and pictures of them. Now, these are, I went to your house. I remember we did our first tour many years ago, a few years ago. And the, now the dog, oh, there's your husband. <laughs> uh, there's That's a working dog for he's, you. He steals but my dog. They can be, I'm, you know, they'll run into things and they topple with toppling some furniture over. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, they knock over, they knock over anything. Um, they they counter surf. They they're huge. Um, yeah, they're they're big. I mean, he's so tall. He doesn't even have to stand up on the counter. He can almost just put his nose up and reach things. Wow. And um, you know, this one here, my gosh, he's. I mean, he's very mischievous. He's yeah. he's. And As he's you only a tell, year and a half old, this, this one, right? He's seven and he's a half. He's seven. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. They switched he's, on me. This is the puppy. This is the puppy. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, big for a puppy. <laughs> like that. And, and um, you take, help take care of them, too? Oh, yeah, a lot. A, a lot. lot. <laughs> I need help <laughs> sometimes. My, well, daughter, what do my you, daughter takes helps take care of them, too. She when you take care them. of them, I mean, what, what are the main things that come with this breed? Well, um, obviously, as you can see, they, they do have a lot of extra skin. Um, some of them have more skin than others. Some of them have more droopy eyes. Um, they can get entropian, which is when the eyelid will fold oh, in no. and then it will cause like uh, irritation on the eye. And bloat. Um, and bloat is a, is a f very big risk with mm. this breed. Um, we've lost a few to bloat and I mean it, it can happen out of the blue wow. and there's and then they're gone. And, oh, and longevity? Yeah, and their longevity, I mean, you know, I've known people to have them, you know, up to 10 or longer. But. Our breeder does have some that, you know, have lived pretty long, but I mean, most of them, you know, you're looking at seven, seven eight, nine years, give or take. It's um, hard though, and they're so adorable. I know. They're, the, they're just, they're Fine. so sweet. Fine. And I mean, I absolutely love them. They're very sweet dogs, but they're a lot of dog. I mean, they're, they're a lot, lot of dog. Oh boy, Patty's got treats. Okay, now, now the real oh, is gonna speaking stop. Speaking of their the nose. Let the slobbering Can you smell begin. that? <laughs> May they have a treat? Yes. yes. Now you guys, I, I mean, if you are prepared to do the work, uh huh. Yeah, he's in training actually right now. Uh, oh, and also they shed. Oh, oh sorry. I hope <laughs> we have your cleaning person. Shed. They shed a lot. Oh, oh. And, and I'm a groomer, so, oh, so they get groomed a lot. Yeah, they get groomed like every two weeks practically. So well, Patty. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Will we learn more about bloodhounds on Pet Pals TV today?
<laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, we're going to have this on later. Later. Uh, but okay. uh, I just really want to make sure because whenever, whenever I see a dog, whoops, that wins, you know, an award or something, I worry yeah, that I want to eat. people we, know what you're people getting. People don't realize what, doing. Yeah, what um, they are really yeah. like to live with. Well, thank you guys for being here. Mm -hmm. We you're appreciate welcome, you babe. educating us, bringing these thank sweet you. boys too. <laughs> you can of course watch Pet Pals TV on Saturdays at 10:30 right here on Wish TV. You can also go to PetPalsTV.com. And of course, watch Great Day TV right before that, 10 o'clock, all here on Wish TV. Thank you guys so much.